Good morning, first grade. How are you today? Today, our environment or habitat that we're going to be talking about is the Arctic. The Arctic is a very, very cold place. I'm not going to read to you about the actual environment. I'm going to read to you about polar bears because I think they are awesome. I hope you think they're awesome too. Bath time. A playful polar bear rolls in the snow. It's taking a bath. Polar bears rub their wet fur in the snow after a swim. The snow helps them stay clean and dry. Wow, they use snow to make themselves dry. Isn't that a cool fact? I love all the facts we're going to learn about polar bears. Do you think you want to take a bath on the ice? Not me. Polar bears live in one of the coldest places on earth. Dry fur helps keep them warm. Do you like cold weather or hot weather? Hmm. I like hot. I don't think I want to be a polar bear. Big bears. Oh, we're going to learn some new facts. Look, this is a heading. And we have great photographs in this book. Polar bears are the largest type of bear. Wow. Males which mean the boys, are about eight feet long. They can weigh more than 1,300 pounds. Mm. How much do you weigh? Compare how much you weigh to how much a polar bear weighs. Wow, they're pretty big. Females, which are the women, are two or three times smaller than males. So look at the picture. Talk to your friend or teddy bear or neighbor and tell them which one you think is the female and which one you think is the male. Point to it. That's right. This is the female. This is the male. Brain match. Let's keep reading. I love the photographs. They're so realistic. Ooh, look at this beautiful picture. Polar blade. Pull. Let me start again. Polar bears blend in with the white snow. Oh, can anyone whisper to me what the, that means? The fancy word for that? I heard someone say camouflage. Yay! But their fur, fur is actually clear. Each hair is hollow. Hollow means empty. Hmm. Isn't that cool? So it, it's hollow and reflects sunlight. This makes the bear look white like snow. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. I like that information. Are you making a picture in your mind? Because we don't live near polar bears. We've seen them in the zoo, but we don't see them every day. So we have to really pay attention to the photographs and the information we're reading so we learn more about polar bears that live in the Arctic. Oh, look at that, this cute face. Polar bears have black skin under their fur. Did you know that fact? That's a fun fact. It soaks up sunlight and keeps them warm. Oh, because remember, when, it's, when you wear black in the summer, it makes you feel hot. So they have the black fur to keep them warm because it's so cold in the Arctic. Hmm, do you want to go visit the Arctic? I don't. I don't like the cold. Ooh, look at this. I'm going to stop to look. There's a bunch of pictures here. Look, now we see the polar bears under the underwater. Mm. Now I'm going to read the facts. Which page do I start in? This page or this one? Shout it out. That's right. We start over here. Brain match. Polar bears are excellent swimmers. Ooh, are you an excellent swimmer? They use their big paws to paddle. Can you paddle? They have a thick layer of blubber. Mm, look at this blubber. It keeps them warm in the icy water. Mm. We know when we go in cold water, our bodies feel it. Well, they keep nice and warm because of their blubber. Shout out that word. Let me hear you louder. Louder. Oh, I love the way you were saying that word blubber. Polar bears have fur on the bottom of their feet. Oh, look. 
They also have large claws. The claws grip the ice and help polar bears walk on the slippery surface. Think about us when we walk on slippery surfaces, what happens to us? Mm, that's right, we fall. We have to have boots on, right? They have grooves kind of like claws. Oh, two pages again, I'm gonna start over here. Polar bears live on sea ice in the Arctic. Here's that word, here's that environment. They, sne they stay near open water to hunt. Here's the open water. In summer, some ice melts. Polar bears travel hundreds of miles to find other sea ice. So what's an important fact that you have learned so far about polar bears? Turn and talk to a neighbor or a friend. What facts did you learn? All right, let's keep reading. Some polar bears move to land. Polar bears can go without food for a few months until the water freezes again. Wow, imagine not eating for a few months. Hmm, look at that. They could be all on this piece of ice for a few months waiting for it to freeze again. That's a cool fact. Is their environment the same as ours or different? Shout it out. I didn't hear you. That's right, different. Give me some reasons why the environment is different. Shout it out. That's right, look at all this ice. This habitat, do you think you could live in that habitat? I couldn't, I don't like ice. Finding food, here's another heading. So what is this part gonna be about? Tell me. That's right, food. Let's see what polar bears eat. Do you know what they eat? Mm. Do you know before we read it? Mm. Shout it out. Let's see if you're right. A hungry polar bear lies next to the water's edge. That means right over here where the water and the ice come together. It waits. Suddenly, oh, look at this word. This shows up in a lot of our books. Suddenly, a seal pops up. Snatch. Look at that. The author really wants us to say that loud. Let's say it again. Say it with me. Snatch. The polar bear has caught its dinner. What did the polar bear catch? Turn to a friend or teddy bear or neighbor. That's right. Polar bears eat seals cool fact seal oh here's a photograph that shows it seals are a polar bear's top prey Ooh, we know that word from science what does it mean tell your friends whisper to me right prey is what the polar bear eats Polar bears also hunt walruses and beluga whales. Wow, uh, did you know that? That they eat big whales? I did not know that. Polar bear gets water from the food they eat. Oh, they're around all that water and they don't drink it? Hmm, that's cool. Where do you get your water from? Right, the water fountain or your sink. Oh, two pictures, no words over here. Wow, so the author really wants us to get an up close picture so we have to really as nonfiction readers really study those pictures because we don't live in this environment so we really want to get to know all about polar bears polar bears have a strong sense of smell they can smell a sneal see it whoops i'm going to go back they can smell a seal on the ice up to 20 miles away. Wow. They can even smell a seal's den under the snow. Do you know what that word den means? It's another word for their house. Polar bears eat the blubber of a seal. They can eat more than 100 pounds of blubber in one meal. Wow. They eat more than you weigh in one meal. Woo. Look out, polar bears. 
New heading means we're going to learn new information. Are you ready? We already know, what do we know about polar bears? We know what they, shout it out, what they look like. We know what they eat. Now we're going to learn about the family life. Polar bears live on their own. They come together only to mate. Polar bears, oh, here's that word. We've had this word lots of times. Say it with me. Growl or hiss if they are threatened. Look at that. The photograph, the author is really showing us how they feel. What do you do when you feel threatened? Mm. Well, look at this. Look at this picture. They also like to play fight. Oh, do you like to play fight? If they come across other bears, they stand on their back legs and try to knock each other over. Here's another one of those words that has the K-N. What do we say when we see K-N? Mmm. You're going to knock each other over. Mmm. What do you do? How do you play with your friends? Do you play similar to the polar bears? Turn and talk to a friend or neighbor and tell them all about what you do. What's the same? What's different? You can compare and contrast. That's another good nonfiction strategy. Oh, look at this. Look how cute. Oh, look at the baby. See, I'm taking time as a nonfiction reader to look at the photographs and really get to know polar bears. Females build dens in the snow. Mother bears, which is there are the females, raise cubs in the den. Most females have two cubs at a time. Oh, look how this picture matches the information. Here's the den. Here are the two polar bears, and here's the female or the mom. Wow, pretty cool. So what do we know now? The cubs live with their moms in the den. We know that polar bears catch what? What do they catch? I didn't hear you. They eat their prey are seals, walruses, and beluga whales. What do they look like? Hmm, they have white fur, but black skin. Ooh, cool facts. Hold on to those facts. Keep those in your head. That's new information. Cubs are very small when born. Oh, look at the babies. They weigh about one pound. Cubs don't have a lot of fur. Their mothers keep them warm while they grow. Cubs drink milk from their mothers. Hmm. Kind of like we do, right? Mammals. Polar bear cubs come out of the den after about three months. They stay with their mother as long as three years. All right. How old do you think these cubs are? They're still with their mothers. Are they five? No, because then they wouldn't be with their mothers, right? How long do you stay? Mm, let's see. Do we leave our parents when we're three years old? No. She teaches them how to hunt and swim. Oh, just like our parents teach us things, right? Polar bears can live 25 years in the wild. Wow, another fun fact. So now we know that cubs stay with their mothers for up to three years and that they can live in the wild for about 25 years. Look at this picture. This is really a nice photograph to show the the water where they might catch the seals, and the ice where they can build their den. Oh, which page am I going to read first? That's right. Adult. That means grown up. Pull it. Oh, I forgot to read my heading. Let me go back. Staying safe. Why is it important to read a heading? Turn to your friend or partner and tell them. Let me hear you. That's right. It lets me know as a reader what I'm going to read about so I can keep it in my brain, make it organized. Adult polar bears have no predators. Wow. There's nobody else that will eat them, but they face other dangers. Ooh. The changing climate, mm, climate is the weather, is affecting them. Ice melts as temperature rises. Polar bears need ice to hunt. 
With less ice, they may have, may have a harder time finding food. Without food, they can't survive. Look at that great word, survive. Do you think we can survive without food? No. All right, so the climate, the weather is changing, and that's affecting the polar bears. Mm, that's important information for us to know because that means that we have to help the climate and pollution. Oil spills, oh, see, here's a, a tanker. Oil spills are another threat to polar bears. Oil leaks out of boats traveling through the, here's that word again, Arctic waters. Oil slick sticks to polar bears' fur. Ooh. Their fur can no longer help to keep them warm. If polar bear gets oil on its fur, it will not survive in the cold Arctic. All right. So let's stop to think. Who are the predators for polar bears? No other animals. What are their problems? The climate's changing and oil spills. See how we take the information, think about it, and organize it in our brains. That's what nonfiction readers do. There are about 26,000 polar bears on Earth. They are the biggest bears in the world. Okay, ooh, this is an important fact. So if someone asks you a question when you're playing a game, what, what is the biggest bear in the world? What's your answer? Shout it out. Polar bears. Right, is it brown bears? No, polar bears. Fun fact. They are also one of the toughest. Not many animals, here's that new word again, survive in the Arctic, but it's the perfect home for a polar bear. Ooh, yeah, see? There's no houses around here. There aren't any people. Mm. Do you think it would be a perfect home for you? Not for me. Okay, so boys and girls, I hope you had fun learning all about the polar bear that lives where? What environment? Let me hear you. That's right, the Arctic. Think about all the fun facts you learned about the polar bears in the Arctic. And hold on to those facts and tell them to a friend or family. Have a great learning day. See you again tomorrow. Bye.